as african we give and we dance we have that you know it's in soul it's in heart hi guys welcome again to our channel Salut Laos Live. thank you guys for your support and your everything your subscri subscription and also for the comments nice and moving comments and everything we are so humble i'm so humble to see that whatever i'm doing it's making sense because sometimes i'm like okay anyway so today i want to do the second episode of uh, cultural comparison comparison whoa between <laughs> between kenya and german because i realized the major point because i think i was doing it so quickly and i was i'm not yet used so i left very very good importance and also i've been getting also some questions uh, uh from uh from guys uh like writing me and so i said okay let me do part two because there are some things i pattern and today i want to shout out my girl esther mwangi she's my childhood girlfriend she was the first one to uh to comment last video so hi girl and everybody guys i love you i feel i can feel already that we are having a relationship with you guys and thank you so much for being there for your support for your comments for your likes Baraka. a blessing <laughs> so my first point that i had i forgot last time is about kids about kids that they are not beaten shout out to maureen wateto she told me that i forgot about this yes in kids kids are not beaten in germany because it's a rule here you cannot be a child and if you beat it it gonna it will be taken away from you uh for example uh if a kid calls police policeman police I, policeman and they say that my mother or my father is beating me that child can be taken away from me or even the neighbors yeah here even your neighbors can uh can call so that's why people they live so privately here in germany people they don't associate a lot like in africans for example how do i mean by associating like for example you, we don't borrow uh, salt to our neighbors or we don't borrow anything we are just like here you have everything you need you live on your own so i found it here like that that their culture and uh and then in our in our kenya we we, we go cooking and you find you don't even have oil or you don't have uh, salt you run your neighbor and take that here no go it's your own life so kids are not beaten and if they're beaten they can be taken away from you so that was my first point and also uh, about also how they are named when you get a kid here how they are named um so long as here we use uh, the surname the surname is one like for example my surname or our surname is muller so my kids are Muller, I am Muller, our kids, like for example, Jeremy, his kids will be Muller. Zuri, if she will be married, she can change if she wants, but she can also hold his uh, father's surname. So here in Germany, it's the way you think it, the way you think. Like my kids, they have African's name, they have English and African's name and German name. Because I told them, hey guys, I don't want you to forget where you come from or where your mother came from. So in Kenya that is different luo they they named their kids the night kikoyus after the uncles and aunties and, and grandmothers kamba i don't know but it's by in kenya it's different it's different cultures it's different uh, so, uh tribes but here in germany the thing is only use the surname so another thing is about wedding that's what i found, uh, found it I, why did i forget about it it's about wedding wedding um here wedding you go only people who go in the wedding is friends and family yeah you can be the neighbor and you don't even attend a wedding or you you, you just hear that somebody wedding and even your neighbor so here it's only family and friends and good friends nobody goes in the wedding only the families and good friends in africa in our community <laughs> everybody the whole neighborhood go there 
but corona came now life is everywhere different let's see what the culture will if they're gonna stick or they're gonna if they will remain the same so in germany only immediate family and friends like also the funerals are funerals that is even worse only the friends and neighbor maybe neighbor one or two the one they were close and friends and only the family members and then one thing we do in kenya after the funerals people they go they eat and they do something called mambolezi in here they don't do mambolezi here you die they set a date they swear you're gonna what you're gonna wear and everything and after two three days you go or four days and they wear black here they only close black in africa in kenya how you think you do uh and then up here funeral is also very very private there's no picture there's no video there's nothing here you go you bury you go home in africa you see people they do um, um videos they do photos they do the whatever nine in germany it's different um about um colleges in here when you go in the college kids after high school so school i think i'll I'll do another video because I also did, I went in college here. I can I can also say about how I learned and how it was in my college time. So about schools, I will leave it there. But about the school system here, after you finish, you go to college. They called Ausbildung. And in Ausbildung, you go two and a half years to three years. I went two and a half years. Um, when the kids go to the college, they, uh, they, they, after two and a half or three years i'll say why you go you are um you are paid here the kids are paid when they go to college two to three years according to the course you're choosing and then after that you are uh, the kids after they finish or you they're not even the kids they're youth they are uh they are they are done with experience full experience that means you can do like something like baking and you can open your, uh, your business as a baker. You can be a banker and you can work as a banker. So you, there's no something like you go and you have some experience. No, you've already three experience, so you're going to be paid and you start working a full norm. So, and, and in Kenya, we have to go to university or you have to go to college. And after that, you have to go to something called practicum. It's called something like i can't remember right now so you go after 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 college in kenya you go and you start having doing some two or three years internship yeah exactly internship and then after that you start working no here to go so that i find that also very good here yeah exactly and then um another thing i wanted to say is about giving birth in africa in africa or in yeah naturally kenya if you are 30 you don't have family uh, or don't have kids 32 35 you hear people start asking you hey what about the kids and everything yeah when are you getting kids when are we yeah we know that we have asked i i have also asked some of my friends so yeah that's our tendency but here it's not even good you're not even supposed to ask anybody not unless you're friends because here a kid is not a priority here people they choose what they want if they work they want to follow their career they they follow some people hate responsibility and they don't want responsibility and so they choose to enjoy their life they get married but they choose not to have kids so some of them they choose to have cats and some of them dogs and the part of dogs and cats they choose to be a babies and child a, a, a dog and a Cat is treated like a child here. You can never beat or touch someone's dog here. You can even be taken to poli uh, police. Here, a dog is taken to clinic. A dog is taken to get to a pedicure and manicure. A dog is a, like a, like a, like baby. So they're chosen. They choose either child or cats or a dog. So that's uh, another point that I, f I had forgotten. And I think it's their life. So we have to respect their culture. And for us as African we choose to have kids yeah i think it's better because i see here during the old age they die lonely they are alone so i believe if somebody 
should like to be a mother or would like to have mother i think there's a benefit of being a mom but you just have you don't have to be a mom just because everybody is having a mom no it's a choice and you cannot blame anybody so that was also another point and uh, another person is a working system here yes that was somebody asked me why didn't you say about that yes here people by working when i mean working system here is better is uh better than us in africa their culture is here they, they they love their work i don't mean you don't love work you love but here people they don't get late they even come in 15 minutes or 20 minutes late earlier than to do their job or know that they get job and they are very very uh, serious they concentrate on their work if they decide it's work like for example I chat with people and they tell me they're in the office I'm like how dare you uh, not they are there but how how come you have uh, freedom when you're working you're chatting so uh, when I remember when I was working I always touched my phone when I had break it's a lunch time yeah when I was going to my center shop then I could take my phone and I do it but you otherwise you're not you should let, leave it on your on your, on your spin I, I, I hope it's called spin yeah? so in kenya we have that freedom yeah here the culture is work is work and work so they work some of them they work too much they don't have time for family that way they choose not to have family and some of them are they're serious i find also maybe that's why the economy is also very good because they pay taxes so yeah they they also we pay taxes but here they pay a lot of taxes so that's why they work and then i find also uh um like for example when i was working they have they are okay they are attached to their, to their job but also they are not attached to their job what do i mean by that when i was working i remember i worked with my heart which i regret even today but there they work to be paid and then punk at time when time is gone for home they are gone they don't know how to wait but for us africans we work with our heart which i think if i go back again to working system i will work and live because yeah that was my story but i don't say that you don't work with your heart but here they work without getting attached because that's why they are not hard if time is gone in the africa we work with the hearts you even want to do more and more time mm -mm, here i work more time you pay me you give freedom no more. and we are so much attached we have this you know that's us africans here no go they do that yes and um they are very very serious here everything is on time bus if it's 7 30 7 29 7 30 7 31 it's there if it's train train it's always there so about time here and seriousness i think we are in africa we are still much much behind because i remember also when i have time when i have appointment i always go i always get there two minutes late one minute earlier rarely i get one minute early. i have that still after still even after being 10 years here in Germany, I still have that tendency of not keeping time. <laughs> it's not hard, but my husband has taught me, oh, but he has have to be patient because I didn't even care. I didn't even know. I didn't even understand. I was just, mm. but it's, we have learned, yeah, and we are getting better. So, and my second last point is about, uh, yeah, by the way, people here wanted to say that point. They are not friends like us. Our African culture, we are friendly, we look at each other. Here, they are moody, they, you can even smile and talk to someone tomorrow. The next day, she has, she's moody. So, that is something I find, unfortunately, not good. Not everybody. There are some, there's Germans who are very friendly some of them <clears throat> it's it's a it's something else so yeah that is something they are not that welcoming like us you can see somebody like, hey, and, you know and then yeah okay so and also uh that one i wanted to attach with a point about dancing <laughs> yeah somebody asked me about dancing i don't know how okay there are people who know how to dance but most musical i think as africans we have the best 
the moving, the way they move. Germans move like this. Don't like this, something like this. But as Africans, we give and we dance. We have that, you know, it's in soul, it's in heart. So that was another different. And my last point is about gayism and home uh, lesbianism, homosexuality. Here in Germany, it's allowed. A woman can, help, can marry a woman. And there's no big deal. A man can marry a man. And there's no, even here in the parliament, there are even homo parliament, people who are in the parliament and the government. And it's not a big deal. So it's in Africa. I, unfortunately, I saw another photo in um, in TikTok. A guy, a Kenyan guy who is homo out in Kenya. The way he was crying, he's hiding, he's afraid not to be killed. I think it's 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 a uh, it's it's a big time now. We should get civilized. We should get that. Yeah, it's not okay a woman to sleep with a woman or a man with a woman if we are the we are perfect. But nobody is perfect here. Let people me out. Oh, okay, for me personally, as a mom, as a human being, I don't care if you're human, if, if you're homosexual or you are gay. I don't care. If I like you, if you're a human being, so why should I judge you? Hmm? Especially for us mothers, never ever point someone if it's a kid. Because you don't know about your kid. This is something they are born with or this something come within them. Some of them manage to remove this thing or to, to end this, maybe to satanism or whatever. I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to know. But me about judging the people, I don't do that because I've seen people are getting killed even in Mexico, Brazil there's still a big problem for these people let people live live and let others live so whatever she is a gay she is a lesbian, she is a hetero whatever, let them be who are we to judge so for me, there I will say I wish one time, one day Africa, one day in Kenya we will accept these people who they are and try to support them because imagine as a mom, your son become a lesbian or comes and tells you, you know what, mom, I only love girls. She's a girl. Or she says, mom, I only love girls. She's a boy. Will you get that uh, um, panga and start slicing that child? Because already society, when it's not, they hate it. Already when the people, it, it's abomination in our society. So what will you do as a mother? You will teach a child hug her and accept her as she is and try to help her the way but there are things we cannot always work on we just have to let them be and accept them and move on so thank you so much guys for listening for being my audience for your support liking and comment and please sharing them uh the, this video i will surely appreciate until next time peace bye